four or five months ago, Sally and I decided we better do this instead of talking about it. And after a few days of research, we discovered that you could go with a big organization to do the Inca Trail trek and end up at Machu Picchu. Or, or there were other organizations that were small. So we did some online research, discovered Quechua's expeditions, made some phone calls, and found some really friendly, helpful people and decided they're the ones. And we made an awful lot of phone calls between then and starting the trek just four days ago. And when we finally got to Cusco and met Waira, who came to the hotel personally to greet us, which we thought was a very wonderful thing, we're just impressed with his patience with us and the fact that he sat down for two hours to explain everything we were going to do, everything we were going to need about the guides. And um, we just felt very personally attended to, so we appreciated that very much. It made us feel welcome. So. And the guide was fantastic. We had Percy. Ask for Percy. He's a, he's a champion. He knows everything, makes you feel at home. And the equipment was fantastic. The tents were brilliant. And the thermarest. None of this foam stuff. Beautiful thermarest and North Face or North Fake sleeping bags. Excellent. Really, really warm. The crew were fantastic. Edgar the Cook and his noble men did a brilliant, brilliant job. Made us feel really at home. Hot tea to our tent every morning. Hot water. Five star camping. Couldn't get better. The guiding was brilliant. The company was great. Just hop online. We recommend them. Come along. And it goes right down to some of the fine details because even before we walked into Machu Picchu this morning, at whatever time it was, 7 o'clock, we had to make an offering to Mother Earth. And we'd forgotten by giving away all the coca leaves <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> to save a few coca leaves to put on that little offering altar as we entered. So <clears throat> I had to pull out a few hairs. That's why there's so much missing. <laughs> I leave them on the altar on, under a rock as did Sally, but you can't really tell she did it as well. But we learned to pour a little bit of beer onto the discotheque dance floor before drinking any in respect for Mother Earth. We learned some wonderful history about the Quechuan people. We learned stories about postulations about this, the history of a number of the villages. And it came with uh, how to say a few words in Quechuan or Ayamara. We learned about the people here. It, it was a cultural experience, as well as an athletically in, endurance kind of test to, to go for hours uphill. But under the careful tutelage... We all did brilliantly, up and down. <laughs> nobody had aching muscles the next no. day. And I think it's partly because of the pace that you set. You have to turn the camera around somewhere so we get a picture of our, our guy. Hey, 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 that's hey. me. Percy, three... <laughs> Three thumbs up. Three no, is a so very so significant okay. number. It was a birthday tomorrow. So um, Sally. I always dreamed to come to Machu Picchu, but I think doing the Inca Trail made it even more magical because you come over the sun gate and you see it from a distance. And we had a wonderful tour with Percy and he knew so much about the Inca history. He was very knowledgeable all along the track about flowers and birds and the archaeological sites. But the real magic was actually walking into Machu Picchu. And I think, you know, you have to really do that to enjoy the experience of coming to visit this wonderful Inca city. So, if you feel fit enough, and I'm not that fit, and I made it, so if you feel fit enough, definitely book the Inca Trail with Percy, if you can, and with Quetzal's Expeditions. And the food was fantastic too. Plenty of it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, cocktails, popcorn. Really good, plenty of it. It was perfect. Edgar and his merry crew did a fabulous job. Not to mention that there were two birthdays out of three people that needed to be celebrated, and the amazing staff of Edgar, Jose, Paolo, and Pablo, Pablo, whoops. and Cyprian. 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 Cooked two amazing birthday cakes with caramel icing on top <laughs> and a candle to be blown out as well, without an oven. So we were in awe because the, the cakes were delicious. So if you get the chance, book with them. Great information on the internet. Do other tours as well, but come along. The Inca is fantastic. One of the other things that sort of a side note to that was uh, Waira's uh, encouragement of us to bring something for children, for the families of the porters, who for the most part could be farmers or living in the countryside, 
and aren't that privileged. So we brought some pencils and pens and school supplies and a number of items of clothing which uh, he's offered to bring back to the families there. And I think his involvement in caring for local business, uh, local people, and the local community touched me. Uh, I'm a person that's very interested in our community at home. And when I see somebody that interested, I like to support those things. So I was very pleased to see him take that initiative. He's a busy, busy businessman. So I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! <clears throat> So, what's the company you worked with? Show the t-shirt. Woohoo! I see. That's the best way to see the company name. Expeditions. <laughs> we can't say it. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Catch us Expeditions. They're the best. And what's the website address? www. Catch us Expeditions. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>